Hi there, it's Hillary and welcome back for another Creative Faith video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I am taking these two Creative Faith Traveler's Notebooks and I'm going to show you how I'm going to decorate the front of them and put them into this Traveler's Notebook and I'm going to use one for sermon notes and one for Bible study notes. And so I thought I would share with you guys this is the very first notebook that I ever used to take sermon and Bible study notes. The, the, it's so old, the thing hardly has any stretch in it anymore. <laughs> but it is from 2007. This is my first time going to a Bible study and I started taking Bible study notes and notes at church. And that's just when my faith really became totally alive and my own and so I love looking back on all of these and seeing what God taught me and has taught me through the, the years. So this is from 20, 2007 which is really crazy and then this is my most recent sermon Bible study notebook that I just finished um, and it was from it's like an old book that they turned into a journal and so I just finished this one and so I really thought it would be fun to use some of my own notebooks to set up sermon and bible study notes and so these are the two that I picked these are available both in my Etsy shop and on Amazon so I'll link both of them um, in both the places in the description box below and I love these notebooks. And so today I'm going to show you guys two different ways of how you can make the covers your own a little bit. And so the two ways are using stickers and stamps. Now, oh, I also wanted to show you this is the Bible study that, uh, so every Thursday for the past few years I've been attending a woman's Bible study and we go through lots of different studies um, and so this is the newest one we're starting called fight back with joy and joy is one of my words for 2020 so I just thought that was really cool that we're um, gonna end the year doing this study um, this is obviously the same notebook here <laughs> um, it's the first traveler's notebook that I designed and so I've been using it to document what God's been teaching me about joy and sacrifice in 2020. I do have a video um, showing this setup um, that I will link in the description box below and I will link both of these. Um, this is like a novel so I think this is what she started with. So I've already started reading and underlining and then this is like the Bible study guide that has more like verses and dives in a little bit deeper than just the novel um and it just looked like it had really creative prompts and questions to help dive into this topic of joy so if you want to join me <laughs> um you can pick these up on amazon all right, so like I said, I'm going to be sharing two different ways of how you can customize the cover of your Creative Faith Traveler's Notebook. And so again, this is where I'm going to put it um, later on. So the two different ways you can do it are using stamps or stickers. And so I'm going to use one of them on one and the other on the other. So for stickers, I'm going to use these little tile alphas. These are my favorite tile alphas my favorite alphabet stickers they're from buy the well for god i'll link their etsy shop in the description box below they come in tons and tons and tons of different colors and they're really good quality and they're the perfect size to use in all of your projects and so i'm going to use one to i think i'm going to use these on this one and put sermon above so it'll say sermon notes so stickers is the first way of how you can customize these covers. And then the second way is what I've done here, and that's using stamps. Now, the covers of these are smooth, and so you have to be really careful what kind of ink you are using when you stamp. So my favorite ink is Versafine ink. If you stamp with this on here, it will never dry so know that 
Um, but what I found is a really awesome combination is Versafine black ink with clear embossing powder on top and then you heat set it. So that's what I've done for both of these. And you can see it's like kind of 3D-ish, which I love fun textures. And so that is really cool and it makes it shiny. And you'll see it is not perfect. And um, because the cover is slick, it slides around a little bit, but I am okay with that. I am not a perfect crafter. And so that is fine with me. Um, I don't know this for sure, but you could potentially use stays on ink on here and let it dry because I think stays on ink is more permanent, but definitely if you're going to try stamping and you want to use this Versafine ink, be sure to use clear embossing powder on top. So that's what I'm going to do to this one, I think, and I'm going to do Bible study notes. So anyways, I'm going to put you guys on fast forward now and jump in. All right, so now the messy part is done. <laughs> so I have my new sermon notebook and my new Bible study notes, and oh, they look so cute. So now I'm going to set up my traveler's notebook. And one thing I thought that would be really fun to do is add a sticker to the front of it. And so I wanted to use one of my stickers. It's the seasons change, but God never changes. I thought the orange kind of matched the orange in this cute little bow that is on the corner of it. And so I'm just going to peel it off. I will link um, my section in my Etsy shop to all my vinyl stickers. I only have a few left of this one at the time I'm filming um so if this is one that you've had your eye on be sure to go grab it um but I just thought that would be really cute on the front and it totally is oh I love that so definitely check out my vinyl stickers in my shop so then this is the inside this is two pouches I was gifted that um I tape together to make a little insert and then I also have this insert as well that has um, a little zipper and this little pouch 
and this is like a hard writing surface um, that I can use. But I think I'm gonna take that out. And I don't know if I need two in here. Maybe I'll take this one out for now. And so the awesome thing about these notebooks is that they, well, first off, they have dot grid paper, which I absolutely love using dot grid paper for writing. It's great because it's like their lines, but they're not. <laughs> and they fit into a traveler's notebook system so how cute so now i have my bible study notes and my sermon notes and then i wanted to add a few things over here i thought it would be fun so this is my business card which if you've ever ordered anything from me you know you get one of these but i thought the back has this little verse on it write god's word on your heart and I thought that would fit perfectly there. And so I have a few of these stickers from Happy Planner that are these really pretty black and white flowers. I love anything floral. So I thought that would be fun to use to kind of decorate a little bit. Decorate the little... business card so you could definitely use my business card as a decoration in your planner or your journal um, I wanted to make especially the backside really cute for this exact purpose to be able to use like in your journaling Bible or things like that so super cute Love it. So now I can stick that in there. Oh, it looks so pretty. Write God's word on your heart. And then I have a few different clips to include. And um, this little one that says Brave is from my friend Gail. She makes clips and things. I'll link her. She's Patio Ponderings on Instagram. I'll link her down below. And I thought that little pink would kind of match this too. So I could use these as bookmarks in here. And then I thought it'd be fun. One thing I really like to do is have washi tape on these tags. These tags come in my kits with washi tape on them and I love it because it makes it really easy to store washi tape and so I um, want to put a few in here to use. Oh, Christmas. I'm so excited for Christmas. Some kind of neutral colors that could go with anything. Do I put one more? Do I call it good? That one's really pretty. So I'm going to stick some washi tape into this little zipper pouch. If I can tell whether it's open or not. <laughs> So now I have washi tape to do just a little bit of decorating on my pages. And then I also thought it would be fun to put some different sticker sheets in here. Um, I like these really cute little tiny sticker pads. I try and get them on sale. So I thought I could rip some of these out to include. I could write Bible verses on them main points and the sermons things like that i just don't think i've ever met a sticker that i don't like <laughs> that one would be cute to write something on and then these are from like different sticker swaps that I've done. This one would be perfect because it has Bible verses and things on it. Oh, that one has a Bible verse. Maybe I'll do that one too. 
Okay, I'll do these ones. And I can tuck these. Oh, I don't know. This one might be too tall. But I can tuck these in the front. Here. Oh, this one just barely, barely, barely fits. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't try and force it. I'll just poke these little guys in there. And now I am all set and ready to take my traveler's notebook on the go with me to church and to Bible study to take notes and document what God is teaching me. So I hope this video gave you guys some ideas about how you can set up your own traveler's notebook and how you guys can take creative faith notebooks and customize them a little bit to fit your needs. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to pick up your own creative faith vinyl stickers and your own creative faith traveler's notebooks. I can't wait to see how you use them. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any Creative Faith videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.